Hey guys, Collar here, bringing you another Pro League commentary, and this time I'm bringing you KTF versus Hambit Stars, played uh, yesterday, June 17, 2008. And I have with me a new commentator from SC2GG.com. His name is The True Blue SC, and he's doing a great job, and uh, he'll be doing a lot more English commentaries coming up soon. I really have enjoyed working with him so far, um, and you should check him out on YouTube. Here in set one, we have a turn versus turn game uh, between Hiri playing for KTF and piano playing for Hambit. I actually don't know much about either of these players. Uh, they seem like they're both specialists on their teams for Terran versus Terran. Hiri overall is 51% against Terran, and Piano is 3-3, uh, 50% and three, against Terran. Um, and actually, Piano's only played Terran versus Terran uh, games in his short little uh, career so far. Um, we have uh, Hiri here in blue at the 7 o'clock position. We have Piano uh, in purple at the 1 o'clock position. And this map is Wuthering Heights, uh, a very uh, interesting map for Terran versus Terran. Later on in the series, we'll have a lot more exciting names, uh, bigger names such as Flash in Game 2. Uh, 815 is going to be playing Gwemchi in Game 4, and we're going to see none other than Reach and Zerg Boy, KTF Reach, one of my favorite uh, male players of any sport in the world, playing in Game 3 on Hunters. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for this match. It should be very interesting. Now, uh, I, I have to say, KTF is a big favorite in this series. Uh, KTF is um, tied for second place right now in the Pro League rankings. Hambit Stars, I believe, is 10th uh, out of 12. So I would say KTF is a big favorite. However, um, anything can happen, really. Uh, so oh, T uh, Terran versus Terran on Wuthering Heights. Uh, True Blue, what, what do you think uh, will be the general progression of this game? Um, hey guys, uh, I, I did not remember that this was a Terran versus Terran, and if I had, um, I would have had, um, a chocolate bar next to me or something, this might be painful. Um, on Wuthering Heights, I, I, if, I, <laughs> if I remember correctly, there's lots of ledges everywhere, so we might see tank drops. I mean, the standard, uh, dropship game, what'll be really interesting to see is if one player expands and the other player scouts it, because if that happens, we might see a quick push, and th that might be very exciting. But if it does go macro, I, I'm praying for um, battle cruisers or you know lockdown um, nukes maybe. So, and, and it look, does look like somebody's going to fast expand. I I think that's um, piano. Is that it? Piano. Yes, yeah, so that's piano. Right, fast and expanding. piano is fast so expanding. So I think he went uh, barracks into expansion. Yeah, barracks into command center. Meanwhile, I think. Um, we saw Hiri's doing his uh, pretty standard 12 racks, 12 refinery. Uh, he's going to be going for a one factory build. I actually do think that uh, going for a fast expand on this map um, it, it is, is a bit risky because uh, really your secondary isn't as protected as on something like Andromeda, of course. Um, so I, I wonder if uh, how soon Hiri will be able to spot this and how he'll respond. Uh, maybe he'll go for two factory or uh, go for a starport or something like early like that. You know, if I could say so, I think um, the macro game is just so popular nowadays that, you know, they're just going to respond to an expansion by expanding, and, and pretty soon someday, with Flash still being strong, more or less, um, people are just going to expand until they each have eight bases before they start anything, so it's like no rush 80 or something. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it's that bad, but uh, certainly, guys, um, if you're interested in watching an amazing Terran versus Terran game, uh, well, not an amazing one, but rather a very lopsided one, uh, go check out Flash versus um, versus Hiri, actually. <laughs> yeah, it was Flash versus Hiri in the uh, GOM TV uh, Avertek Intel Classic. It was played a few days ago, and um, not to give it away, but I am going to give it away. Flash basically puts a clinic on against Hiri. He basically shows how to destroy a Terran player uh, as a Terran player yourself. And it's uh, just worth the watch, just for for educational purposes. Um, it looks like uh, Piano has his expansion up, and finally Hiri uh, is going to be able to spot this. Hiri uh, looks like he's getting his expansion also, so good prediction there. Uh, Piano putting a bunker up. This is pretty common in Terran versus Terran when you go for fast expand. You want that bunker up with uh, two Marines in there at least to pr protect against an early vulture harass. And uh, it seems that Piano finally now is getting his first factory up here, so he'll be a little bit slower on his uh, on his tech. But he's actually uh, notice the building details there. That's actually a really good building position there. He's dropping the barracks there to prevent uh, the vulture from being able to run into his base. And we're seeing here he respond with a fast starport here. Uh, I believe that was one factory into starport. Yes, um, starport. Either dropships. Yeah, dropships or wraiths. Please wraiths. Yeah, please wraiths. Please, seriously. please, <laughs> please, two gigantic fleets of wraiths all over the place. That would be um, that would be quite good. I'm not sure how good that that 
that bunker is. I mean, couldn't the wraiths just run by? I guess the, the placement of the buildings along with the uh, the mining, the workers could really make a good block. But I mean, marines against lurk or vultures, especially if they if they have to run out to get behind the mirror lines. We'll see. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's just a standard build. I'm not sure if it's that applicable on this map, but uh, in general, you will, if, you go, if you're going for a fast expand, uh, you're going to be slower on the Virtue Vulture, and uh, you want to have that bunker in front um, and have a tank uh, behind it, ideally, to deal with Vultures. Um, it, your tank doesn't have to have Siege Mode, but uh, certainly you want that tank. It seems that both players have gone for the Starport, and actually, this is what Flash did against Hiri. He went for a, uh, a fast expand, just as Piano has done this game, and then followed it up directly with a... Um, with a starport uh, and one for cloak rates, so we could be seeing that from uh, from either of these players. Although it seems that probably uh, Kiri is going to be going for the dropship first. That is the standard thing to get lots of dropships. Although um, I hope I hope to be seeing more starports. I see cloak. I oh my, that is cloak researching for piano. I think I think piano is going to be uh, a, a sneaky a sneaky guy, a very uh, you know a crowd pleaser. And Harry is is not at all. Um, he's getting a drop ship. So now I hope he loses. <laughs> so you have something against the uh, cookie cutter Terrans there, True Blue. Um, I've just seen so much of them. Uh, wow, an academy going up. Is that an academy for piano? I think, maybe for Scan. Um, I'm not sure. Hopefully, medic marines, but I know it's not. Or nukes. Oh yes, nukes. But uh, I know. It's yeah, not. it's gonna be nukes. Uh, now we're gonna see uh, a two vulture, two goliath drop on top of uh, the base here. But it looks like the first wraith is out. But this wraith is late, unfortunately for Piano. Uh, he's gonna get this wraith sniped off by those two goliaths, and now he's forced to, forced to run his SCVs. This drop actually uh, doing a good amount of disruption. Although the first tanks are out, so they will be able to take care of uh, the ground units being dropped. But uh, it seems that actually. Um, here he's gonna be going for a little bit of uh, a little bit of micro here. He's gonna try to drop this. Oh man, he needs to drop his units. Nice work there with a the cloak wraith. Uh, there was no way here he could respond to a cloak wraith. Um, he could certainly respond to an uncloaked wraith attacking his uh, dropship. But uh, that was actually a pretty pretty good response there by Piano. Uh, not much damage was done. I'd say uh, Piano has a little bit of a lead so far in this game. He did get the expansion out a little bit faster. Um, and he does have a little bit higher tech right now. Uh, he has stopped the first attack from from Hiri. So uh, I, I wouldn't call exactly Hiri's drop a uh, cookie cutter Terran, actually. That was a, a, a nice little early drop there, going for the two vulture, two glide yes. drop. Yeah, but unfortunately uh, for, for Hiri, um, Piano wasn't going for a standard tank build. If he actually was just getting uh, tanks uh, of his own um, or something like that, he might have actually been less prepared for it. But since he had rates, he could just kill that dropship off with ease. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the purpose of that um, drop was. I mean, you don't have anything that can kill buildings in there, so you're going for SCVs. I mean, he did try to pick it up and make it, you know, run away. So he must have been um, really not happy to see a, a wraith going for the dropship and, and pretty much bringing up. The, and piano is expanding again. I'm not sure what makes him think he can do that. I mean, his wraith is flying around picking off SCVs. That, you know what it's supposed to do. And the comms, as soon as the comms that goes up, of course, that Wraith's going to be, um, you know, he's going to have to be careful. And it looks like Harry is expanding again. So Cholera, I'm, I'm telling you, eight bases each, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, uh, this game is actually going to play a little bit faster, I feel. Um, and, whoa, this map is not, uh, this is uh, not Wuthering Heights, guys. My apologies, There's this is definitely a fellow, yeah. Uh, I, I think the, uh, yeah. Uh, the people who are doing our lists for the maps uh, made a mistake there, so I got it from them. But yeah, Othello, obviously you want to go for dropships early, um, because you have those cliffable ledges. That's my uh, copyright, by the way, those cliffable ledges, and you can cliff the opponent very easily. Um, so I definitely see the wisdom of KTF's build. And wow, now uh, we're seeing Piano about to siege the uh, mineral only, not the mineral only, but the second expansion from Hiri. Meanwhile, Hiri trying to avoid him, uh, moving to the right, maybe for a flank.